Hello Aces and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to build the Lockheed Jetstar, which is a pretty well-known aircraft and it, and it throughout its history has carried several famous people, including Elvis Presley and also in Canada, Pierre Trudeau, who was the Prime Minister in the 1980s, before my time. So, but uh, yeah, he basically flew on a Jetstar as well. And uh, if you wanted to make Elvis Presley's uh, Jetstar, it's all red. So you can grab some red uh, blocks. And I'm pretty sure this plane carried other famous people. I just don't really know who, what el who else it carried. But if you guys know in the comments, please let me know. But uh, anyways, so a little bit about the build. It's a, uh, it's a fairly easy plane to do. It's not that hard. And it's also fairly uh, small. Well, it's, it looks large, but small. It's, it's, a, it's considered a small aircraft. And it does come with a full interior as well. So you'll see it when we go through the layers. So here's some of the layers here. So that's the first layer, second layer, all that stuff. And uh, so you may notice on the wings of these big um, things on the wings. Now you're probably wondering, what are those? Well, those are actually the plane's fuel tanks. So I will discuss them more when we build them. But uh, yeah, that's basically what that is in case you're wondering. And then there's the finished plane here. So you can kind of see the layers are not too, too bad and everything. And there's the interior there. But uh, I will be going in the plane at the very end of the tutorial where we'll explore the interior. And uh, But you guys can obviously make your own interiors as well. And uh, yeah, so. So if you want to build the Jetstar, Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need black wool, buttons, cobblestone wall, white wool, quartz slab, black stained glass, and normal glass. That's for the cockpit window and the passenger window. Iron bars, cobblestone slab, block of iron, nether brick slab, quartz stair, and stone slab. You don't need a sign and you don't need blue wool. And if there's any other materials that I'm missing, I will be sure to mention them. Oh, actually, one other material I just remembered is white carpet. There we go. So grab your white carpet. So before we get started, I do also want to mention, too, that um, depending on what plane you want to do, like there's a, there's a lot of these planes that were came out like many different color variations. And obviously, you know, like even like Air Force One. Or the well, the United States, um, like I believe it's a government plane, but it also had the Air Force One livery on it, like you know the blue and the white and silver and everything. So you can make you can make your Jetstar like that as well. Uh, this is just a blank white, because after this you guys could put whatever colors you want on it. So that's why I'm building these planes white, because norm because uh, normally they would be in color. However, when the planes are fr when planes are first built, they usually come out in a white color anyway and then they get painted so so yeah I just wanted to mention that just in case if you guys you know ever request liveries or wondering why this is not in some sort of livery it's just because I want to leave it blank white so then after when you're done building this thing you can uh, build whatever plain whatever colors you want on it and everything so anyways let's go over dimensions really quickly so it is a two to one scale like all my builds are it is 40 meters long, and that's like basically the few from the very tip of the nose, and it's actually up to the very back of the tail wing right here. So the fuselage, it's the fuselage length is 39 meters, but that just adds an extra block to it, and it is 37 meters wide, and that's from wingtip to wingtip, and it is 13 meters high. So as you can see, not a very large plane. And, uh, but it definitely looks very cool, and it's probably one of my favorite builds that I've done so far. I mean, you guys haven't obviously seen everything I have, but um, it, it definitely turned out really, really good, and I'm very happy with it. So, anyways, let's get started. Okay, so to get started, you are going to place a black wool here and a black wool right here. You're going to put some buttons on the sides, and then you're going to grab your cobblestone wall, put it through the middle and you're going to go up by two. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have one here, but you're going to delete this inside one. This is going to be one, two, three, four. And they're going to have a quartz slab at the end of this. 
And then attaching on the back, you're going to have 24. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You're going to have a slab on that. And then right here, you're going to have a block here and then another block here. This will actually be the gear covers right there. And then what you're going to do is you are going to go one back. You're going to have a slab here. And then this is going to fill in all the way down. And I believe it's one short. If I just check quickly on this one, it is one short. So you're going to go all the way back here. And then it's going to connect right into there. So same thing on the other side. You're going to leave one. And you're going to have one slab here. And this is going to come all the way down until it's one block short of the back right here and then you have a slab right in there and then you're going to take your slabs you're going to skip one you're going to put one here and this will also go all the way back I believe until it's two at uh, this time it's I think two short no it's one short so just have it like that and then you do the same thing on the other side just like this and there we go. So there is the basis of the fuselage done. So now if we look at uh, what's next for the layer, we're going to put in the wings already. Because the wings are quite low on this plane. And uh, we'll build the wings and there's also gonna, we're going to have to build the fuel tank as well. So yeah, so basically the way we're going to do this part is we're going to build this part of the wing here. And then we're going to put the fuel tank on. And then we're going to build the rest of the wing like that. So that's that's basically how we're going to do this. And then we'll just place the landing gear in quickly and everything. So yeah, so let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, so one thing I've noticed is on the fuselage, when we place the slabs down, it's actually two slabs oh, uh, back from here. So you're just going to eliminate these two slabs on the front like that. And we're on the front of the plane. So now we'll get to the wings. Okay, so to put in the wings of the plane, you're going to come to the back of the plane because it's much easier to count it. You're going to skip five slabs, one, two, three, four, and five. And on the sixth one, you're gonna place a slab here. This is gonna go 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna leave five, one, two, three, four, and five. And on the sixth one, you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, this is the part where I'm going to have to go back and forth between this and the build because these wings, placing them can be very tricky to do, especially that we got the fuel tank. So it's more tricky for me because I have to explain it. So you're going to have a 2, 2, and then a 1. So if I go back here, and I'm going to do this wing first on this side. You're going to have a 2, and then a 2 and then a one like that and then right here is just going to be one 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 and then this you could just connect right into here so it's going to be like a one pattern and then you're going to have a let me just go back and see this is this is going to be the part for the fuel tank so it's just the one block connecting on and then a one block diagonal so then you're going to have like a one like this and then a one like that and then it'll eventually come back like this I'm just experiencing a big uh, lag spike here so I don't know what that was about but anyway so that's that and then you're going to put in a slab here I'm gonna uh, basically build the full outline of the wing and then we're going to put in the fuel tank so it's just gonna be a one so we have this one it's one and then two two and three so we're gonna you're gonna have another one. So right here, you're gonna have a one, oops, one, and then it's uh two, and then two, and then one, two, three. So like that. So that's gonna be like that. So I will be building the other side, but we're gonna put in the fuel tank first before we put in the rest of the wing. I just wanted to get the outline. So this is the full wingspan of the plane, well at least for one side. So for the other side, I'm just, I'm just going to do the same thing in case you guys got a little confused. So it's going to be two, two, and then a one. And then you're going to have a, a white block here and a white block there. 
and you might as well just fold that in two. Then you're going to have a slab here, and then you're going to go one, and then you have a two, and then you have another two, and then you have a three. One, two, three. So this is the pattern that you should have. So pause it if you need to in order to see. And if you still get confused, I would recommend just rewatching this little part again, and you can uh, you can look what I you can look what I've done with this. So now we're going to go and build the fuel tank. Okay, so for the fuel tank, fuel tank's pretty easy to build actually. So you're gonna come to right to the back here. So you're gonna count this one, and you're gonna add twelve. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you're going to have two slabs under here. And then you're going to have a block go blocks going all the way down until it's one block short. You're going to have a slab like that. And then you're going to have slabs coming all the way down until it's up to here. Let me just check. Yes, it is. So again, right here, you're going to have slabs until it's up to these two slabs here. And then you're just going to place your blocks on top, and it's going to be one short of the, the uh, middle. Just like that. So that is the bottom of the fuel tank. There is a top part portion of the fuel tank, but we'll get that on the next layer. But uh, that's basically what it looks like right here. And if I just double check. Okay, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's 13 in total, which we have 13. And that's exactly, let me just check to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oops, let me recount that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so it's actually one more, I think, out. Yeah, it's one more out. And you're going to have another block, and then you have a two, and then you're just going to join this back. So good thing I recounted that, because I actually had it one smaller than uh, it should have been. So we'll do the other side. So right here, you're going to have you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there's going to be one more. But hold on a second. If this is twelve, then why, why if, this, if this is thirteen in total, then why do I have like a fourteen? Hang on a second. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. So I have 13 on that. So this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, okay. Okay, well, th there it is then. So I... So that so yeah, just make sure to add one, one on that. So that that that's better. So. So right here, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna leave uh, two, and then you're just going to have two slabs here, or no, you're gonna leave a one and have your two slabs here, and then you're gonna have your blocks, and it's gonna go all the way back until it's one short. Right here, you have a slab, and then right here, you're just going to place your slabs on up to here just make sure the slabs are actually on the upper part of the block not the lower part or else it'll be f uh, you won't be able to place your block on top and then you're just going to place your slabs here like that and then you're just going to bring them up until it's, it's one short and do the same thing on the other side like that there we go so yeah the fuel tanks i know needed a little bit like i know i said they were easy before but like i said it'd be tricky it's tricky for me to explain how to do them and I wanted to make sure they were right. So good thing I recounted that because they would have been one shorter than they should be. So anyway, so for this part now, you're just going to then just join this up. So it's going to be a one and then you have a one, one, and then a one. And then you can basically just fill all that in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build the rest of the wing here. So like this part, we're going to build that part next. Which is actually very easy because all it is is you're just going to leave one. So you're going to go right here. So we're where you got this slab. You're going to go back one. You have to here. And then it's just going to basically be a pattern, a one pattern going all the way to the back. And you should end with a two at the back. So like that. And there should be a two. Hold on a second. 
Oh, no, it's actually not there. It's actually quite a few blocks back. So it's, um, let me just count this for a second. So you're going to go from here. You're going to go one, two, three on the fourth one. Okay. So one, two, three, four. So it's right about here. So you're going to have to count back four blocks or one, two, three on, on the fourth block. You're going to place your slab. And you're gonna go down and then you're gonna make that step pattern like this and then you should just have a two right on the end so like this now this nether brick uh, slab we will be placing in uh, as soon as we're done the wings so same thing on the other side so from here you're gonna count back four so one well one two three and then on the fourth block you're gonna place your slab so one two three so it's technically four block gap between these two and like if I make sure on this side like you know one two three four like that so then you can add an extra block here and then it doesn't matter which way you go but you're just going to have a step pattern and it should join up with that there we go so there is the wings so this is the shape of them in case you want to pause it to know in case you got you know confused then you can just count them but if um, if all is good then just fill them in and we will get to the next part okay so once you have filled up your wings this is what it should look like so what we're gonna do now is if we go to this here because we're not done with this layer yet we still need these cutouts here this is actually for the wheel wells for the gear bays so and here's the landing gear here. So what you're going to do, what we're going to do, is build this part. But there's actually one thing we got to do first. So where you have your slabs here, you're going to change all of from here to here. You're going to change that all to blocks. So you're just going to eliminate these slabs here, and this is all going to be blocks, like this. So there we go. So do that change really quickly. And then I'm going to go back to this one. So we're going to do the cutouts of the wheel wells. And they actually should be one more in here. Because if you look at the length of that, yeah, they actually should be one more. But uh, anyways, what we're going to do is you're going to go, you're going to count in three. And on the fourth one is where your cutout will be. So I'm going to go back to this one. So if you come to the back here, one, two, and three. Then you're going to have one here, one cutout here, one here, and one there. So you do the same thing on the other side. So one, two, three in, and then you're gonna have a one cut out here, and then two, and then you're gonna have a two more like that. So there we go. So that's for your wheel wells, and then what you're going to do is come underneath the plane. You're gonna leave two. You're gonna have one, two, and then three like that, and then you're just gonna come one, two, and then this is gonna go like a one like this. So same thing on the other side. So you're gonna go, you're gonna leave the, these two. You're gonna have one here, one more, and then one like this, like kind of diagonal to that. And then you're just gonna have two like that. And then you can place your landing gear right here. And it's gonna go to the bottom here. And then you can just attach your landing gear here. And you do the same thing on the other side, just like that, down below, and then you place your buttons on that and there's pretty much the landing gear so pretty much uh, the uh, these cutouts are basically for the wheel well so when the the landing gear would fold into the plane you know the the wheels the tires would be like right about here when they were when they fold when they fold in so so if you want yours up in the air then you would just uh, well you're, you're not gonna place the two of them in you're just gonna have one of them like this now I can't remember, I don't think, I did not place any gear covers on this because there's not really any room, but I don't remember if the actual plane had gear covers. I'll have to double check that. But um, I will double check that to see because maybe we can actually put them on. But uh, but anyway, so that's basically how your plane should look right now. So as you can see, it's looking uh, pretty good. So now we're going to build up the next part of the fuselage and then we're going to uh, put in the rest of the uh, fuel tank, the top of it, and we'll place the this 
once we finish the uh, fuel tank and then we just do this little bit here then we'll place in the nether brick trim going across the the wings and stuff so so yeah so let's get on to the next part of the build okay so I double checked on the landing gear uh, just to make sure there was nothing like no gear doors or anything there isn't any it's pr basically um, like it looks like this in real life uh, if you did want to add a bit of detail though there is a little like a gear thing that kind of folds in like that so when the gear folds it's like the mechanism to kind of fold it so you could do that if you want just attach it to here and you can attach it up to right in here so it's up to you if you want to do that but um, I'll probably just keep it like this just to make a bit different and if you want to know what it looks like on the other plane it's basically just like that so if you look at it that's what it looks like I'm just going to take this off but yeah so anyways it's up to you if you want to do that you can add that extra bit of detail if you wanted to uh, I'll keep I'll keep it in it's not really going to make any difference though with the build so but uh yeah so let's get on to the next layer now okay so for the next part you are going to come to the front of the plane and you're going to have two coming out and then you have a slab on this then you're going to go back and you have one two and three and then this part is going to go all the way down until it is two blocks over and then you're just gonna have a one and a one and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side so it's gonna come like this it's gonna come three and they're gonna come out and this is gonna go all the way back until it's uh, uh, two blocks over and this will go over the wheel well so like what the hole that we just cut out this thing will go this block will go over it and then you're just gonna have a two and then you're just gonna have a one like that and then you're gonna have slabs in the back of here and then right here you're gonna have a slab here slab there here and there and this is also the layer that you can fill up your floor for your cabin so here's the here's the layer we're on right now so you can literally fill up the floor if you wanted to so basically just fill in the the gap here and now what we're going to do is we're going to finish off the wings and the fuel tanks that's what we're going to do next so and then we'll continue and then the wings will be finished and then we'll just continue on the fuselage and then we'll eventually build the tail and everything the rudder and all that stuff so so yeah just do that and uh we'll we'll finish up the wings Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're just going to uh, cover up this hole right here for the wheel wells. And all you're just going to do is grab your stone slabs and you're going to place one back from here. It's going to go all the way and it's going to double up on the back here. And then you're going to come one in and this is just going to go up to here like that. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. So skip this one. You're going to place a slab here. Go all the way down and make leave the back one doubled up you can also if you wanted to place one back like this but I doubled mine up or so on uh, on this one and then you're just going to come in by one and then you're going to leave one leave the two ends like this and actually if you're gonna leave this end you may want to cut it like that it really doesn't matter you can do whatever you want but uh, I'm building it exactly how I built it here but if you wanted to you can always have it like this too so it's just like like you have that one like this and then you also have one like that so it's up to you what you want to do with that but anyways uh, for the fuel tanks you're going to place one slab here and then you're gonna place your block going all the way down like on top and then you're gonna place another slab here and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side you're gonna place a slab here and then you're going to place your block on top like that so the next part is you actually have a uh, choice of what you can use in terms of materials. Um, if you grab, you can either use slabs like we did on the bottom or you can use your stairs. So if I just do one of them here, so you can have like what we have here, you're gonna place one here or be one, yeah, be one here and you can have your slabs going all back like here. Or what you could do is you can have stairs. So you'd have to have a forward facing stair and you can basically just make it look more rounded and also if you're going to do the stairway I actually recommend even the bottom part of the fuel tank to change it to upside down stairs as well like that 
just so it kind of looks rounder. And actually, that looks a lot better than the slab if you use the stairs. So I'm actually going to do that for mine. But it may look a little too big. Like, if it looks too chunky for you guys, like, then you can either just, you could probably just use the slabs. But let's just see what this will look like when it's all done. So turn the, don't forget to turn your stairs. So you're going to have a slab, turn your stairs and everything. So right here, you're going to turn, have a stair facing forwards. And then you're just going to delete that. You're going to have a backwards facing stair that's forward facing this way and then you're just going to connect them like that so let's see how this looks so yeah you can have it like that if you want or you can just have it with just the slabs going over like this like that so that's what that looks like versus this one here so it's up to you what you want to do I mean it doesn't really it, um, yeah, it's totally up to you what you want to do. If you want to use the stairs if or if you want just want to use the slabs. I'll probably actually use the stairs on mine because it kind of makes it look a little bigger. And, you know, it can, looks like it can actually like fit a lot of fuel in there. So I'm going to go with that. But if you if you prefer the slab idea, then you can, uh, you can definitely use that too. Both of them work just as well. So, but anyways. So, yeah make your choice and then what we're going to do is and then actually what you could just do is you're going to go I think it's uh, yeah it's one in so skip this one and right here you're just going to place your nether brick going all the way down and you're just going to swap out these until it's one short of the back so it, it ends right there so where you got the two leave these so we'll do the same thing here you're going to go you're just going to delete just the the trim on the uh, like the these outer slabs here you're just going to replace them with nether brick slabs until there so there we go and that finishes the wings of the plane so they're all done now so like I said pick which one you want to do for your fill tanks fill up your floor and then we will continue from there Okay, guys, um, one thing that I've actually noticed is uh, when I was actually uh, layering the thing, like, you know how I usually break it down into layers, I accidentally put two of the same layers of the plane because I was kind of looking at it, and uh, I realized that these are the these are both the same layers. So we're what we're at now is we're actually at this layer here. But, yeah, I put two of the same ones. I just thought I would just throw it in there just as a little funny thing, uh, something I actually did not notice until now. So... Yeah, so the layer we're actually at, though, since we finished this, is this one right here. So this is where it starts to get built up. And actually, this is pretty much, except for the one block, but this is pretty much almost the full size of the aircraft next. And you can kind of see the interior in there as well. So, but yeah, I just thought I would throw, it, throw this in there because it's kind of funny how I did that. And I did not notice that till now. So I could have actually brought these a lot closer if I realized that I had two of the same layers. But anyways, uh, let's get back to the actual build. Okay, so this is what your plane should look like with the uh, floor filled in and the wings completed. And actually, I, I realized one more detail that you can add if you really wanted to for the fuel tanks. You can place buttons at the end of it if you really wanted to. You just place some buttons at the end to add a little bit of detail if you wanted. But it's up to you. Anyways, let's um, get on to the actual layer. So you're going to come to the front of the plane. You're going to have one block on top of the slab. And you're going to go one forward. And then you're going to have one, two, three. And then this one is going to go all the way down until it's one past the slab so one here and then it's going to be the same pattern you're just going to have a one like that and then this is going to go down or you're going to come back to the front of the plane you have three and then you're going to come out and then this is going to go all the way down and you're going to do the exact same thing you're going to have one block over and then you're just going to have one block like this and on the back i think there's sh there's no slabs at the back because that's actually, this is actually basically, I think, now the full size of the plane. So you can see how big it is. And, and with the, in terms of interior space, you only get three blocks wide of interior space. Which is still, 
it's not too too bad i mean for a plane this size i mean the fuselage would not be very big anyway like very wide anyway so but uh once you see what the interior looks like in mind then you'll be able to i mean you probably have already seen it but i'll give you a good walkthrough of it to show you what i've done in it so you can make your own interiors and stuff but anyways um yeah so that's basically it for that layer actually i just want to check to see if there's any slabs on this and no there is no slabs on it at all so there's no slabs on the fuselage or anything so the next layer is actually going to be the windows so let's go and uh, do that okay so now for this layer this is where it's going to start coming in so we can close off close it off kind of thing so this is basically yeah the full length of the plane here the fuselage so what you're going to do is you are going to have a one slab here so it should be even with this slab you're going to go one two and three and then you're going to have a three by two like that and then right here you're, this is going to go all the way down until it's two blocks short of the end. So you're going to drag this all the way down, and you have two blocks short, and then you're just going to have a two, and then a two, like that. And there are slabs on this layer, but we're going to put them in in a minute. So you're just going to cut this, you're going to drag this all the way down, and until it's two short, and then you're just going to have a two here, and then at the back, there is a couple slabs and if I just go to the layer where we're at we're at uh, that one there's uh, one slab at the back well two on each like one on each side so right here you have a slab here and a slab there and then coming to the front of the plane there's gonna be one slab here two slabs here and one slab there and two slabs there so that's what it should look like so the nose is very pointy on this plane and then so basically for the interior now so this is where we're going to start cutting out the windows as well and put the door in so i'm going to go to my uh, layer with the interior in it and i just want to see how big the cockpit space is so we can get some of the interior layout done so the cockpit floor is right here so if i actually go to we're at this one actually right now so it's basically just like a one two but it's like a three but this is the instrument panel and everything okay and then we'll just figure out the door space and the window space so but i just want to get the cockpit space set up so then the rest of it will be pretty easy to to know where it is so right here you're just gonna put you're gonna have three like this and then for now you're just going to well, you, you can change this when you do the interior, but you're just going to put up your uh, kind of uh, cockpit walls. You're going to have a slab here. And then right here, you're going to place three across here, bl three black across the front, like up on the upper part, like behind this block. This is going to be for your uh, instrument panel. And basically, this is your cabin area. Um, you will fill in the back, though, at some point. So now if we figure out where the door is, it's basically just one pad you can leave one block gap and then it's right here so where you got here so this is the end of your cockpit it's just a one block gap and your door is right here and i don't have a door i probably threw it sometime we don't need stone slabs anymore so you're going to place a door here and just to make sure now it's only on the one side there's no door on the other side there's not even any back doors it's just this one door on the plane so, yep, that is correct of where it should be. I guess you can see the wall. I mean, you can't really see it, but there is a wall in behind this. And then you got your door. And then for the glass, it's basically, there's going to be two block gap uh, be in between the glass. And you're going to have one, two, three, four, and five glass in total. So, you're going to skip one. And then you're going to have one, skip two, that's two. Skip two again, three, and then four, and then five, right here. So this is your five glass windows, like your glass um, things. Now, right here, is there's no, you could put a glass if you wanted to, but I just kept it blank here. So you're gonna, you're gonna place a glass here, and then you're gonna just keep placing glass down as well, right up to here, and we'll fill that one back in. 
And another thing you can do uh, for some interior work, you can just build up this part right here. So this will lead you to your cat main cabin. And then what you can do now is we're actually now what we're actually going to do is we're going to lay down for the engines because the engines are actually on this layer as well. And this plane has some really well uh, I wouldn't say unique style engines, but it definitely has a very different style engines compared to other planes. It's got four engines, but it's got two engines kind of in together like this. Like there's literally two engines here and it's a it's a it's technically a quad jet. Now I say this is not a unique design because there is a few other planes that have a design like this, such as the Vickers VC10, which is a British airliner, and also the uh, the Soviet Illusion IL-62 also has the same engine design as well. So and there's I think there's a couple other planes, but those are the first two I can think about. And uh, yes, if you have uh, if you are going to mention, are those planes going to come in the future? Yes, they will. So they will definitely, I will be building them in the uh, future. So, but anyway, so this is what the engines look like. So if we go back to this layer, this is basically what we're going to be building now. And then, uh, yeah, and then we could just basically, we'll just put in the cockpit glass and we're almost done actually. So you guys are doing really good if you've gotten this far. Hopefully this isn't, hasn't been too much of a hard build for you. Hopefully uh, you, you are able to, uh, to get up to this point and had no uh, no difficulties so anyways let's um let's put in those engines okay so for the engines you are going to come to the back of the plane you're going to skip two and you have one two three four and on the fifth one you're going to have your cobble uh, a cobblestone block and actually um i did forget to mention at the beginning for the materials you will be needing a cobblestone slab and a cobble and a block of cobblestone, and so you're going to put this. This is going to be the f the uh, part of the ends of your engines, and then you're going to have a slab here. Then you're going to have another block coming up here, and then you're going to have another slab here, and then another block coming in like that. So that's basically the shape of your engines here. I'm just going to do the um, the same thing on the other side before we continue on. So you're going to leave two blocks here. You're going to have one, two, three, four, and then five. And then you're going to have a slab going down like this. Like you're going to have to, so pl to place this slab in case you, you uh, didn't see what I did, you're going to place one here, and then you're going to come across like that and delete the one here. And then you're just going to pl place another cobblestone block here. And then you do the same thing down here. And then you're just going to have a cobblestone block right there. And I believe you'll also be needing quartz slabs as well. Yes, you will. And then what you're going to do is right under here, you're just going to fill in quartz slabs right here. And you're going to place some white wool blocks in between like that. So this is kind of like the shell, like the cowlings for the engines, I guess, if you want to call it that. And then you're going to place slabs down here and then right there. And you're going to place your blocks in between. So now we're actually going to place the actual engine. Now I used uh, black wool for mine, but what you can also use, what I'm going to be using, is a block of coal. And you're just going to put in blocks of coal in inside of each of these. And then right in front, you're going to have an iron bar. You have some iron bars, and then you grab a block of iron, and you're just going to fill it in. But you're going to come one out. So you're going to fill that in and come one out. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then at the very end, you're going to have a button like that. And then just to finish them off, you're going to have a cobblestone wall, a cobblestone slab on top of here, here, and here and there. And then you're just going to place quartz slabs on top just until this point. So you're going to leave these ones exposed kind of thing at the very end. And then you're just going to do the same thing on the other side. And that basically finishes the engines out. So that's what they look like, and uh, this is how the plane's coming together. This is what it looks like so far. So now all we just need left is the cockpit glass, and we just need the roof on the plane, the tail, ailerons, and all that stuff. Or not the ailerons, the elevators, I should say, right here. So we need. So this is like the elevator. 
So we need that, and uh, then that will basically, and then it's just an interior walkthrough, and that will be it for the tutorial. Okay, so for the cockpit windows, you're going to come to the front, where you've got this three here, you're going to place three across here, and then you're going to go one, two, and three like that. So this is going to be your cockpit glass, and then you can just build this up here like that. And then this is going to, this block right here, you're going to drag this all the way down until it's two blocks short of the back. So right here, and then you're going to have another two coming in. And then this will go all the way down to the very back until it connects right with the uh, end block here. So you do the same thing here, and you can also build your cabin walls up. So if you come all the way back, drag this all the way down until it's too short. And then you're just going to have a two right in here. And then you're going to place slabs on that. You're not going to place any slabs on here, just on this part here. So now, what you're going to do is you, we're going to place some... Um, there's these little uh, windows that are up above the, uh, the cockpit here. So we're going to place those in. Oh, and you will also need your carpets as well. So we might as well just finish the roof of the plane. So what you're going to do is you're going to place some slabs coming around like that. We will continue with them, but you're gonna place two. You're gonna place two little windows like that, and then you're gonna place a. Is it a slab or a block in the middle? I believe it's a block. Let me check. It's a slab. You have a slab right in the middle of that, right here. And you can you can actually use slabs if you want to as well, but you're going to fill this in. And I actually might use slabs because this will actually give you a slightly higher interior space. So. We're going to drag these all the way down. So you're going to drag these all the way down until it is, I think, one block short. Yeah, so one block short of here. And and actually, you might want to use your blocks for this. Uh, you're, you're actually going to want to use your blocks for this because of the, uh, the rudder and stuff, how the tail fits. But I'll show you after of how to. So you're going to leave one block short like that. And yeah, so basically... I would say just use the blocks. Oh, I actually have a row of slabs going down the middle, but I have blocks filling up like this. I think that's what gives it the rounded shape. So, but I'll place the um, that part in after. So then it's just, I think it's one in here. Yeah, it's going to be a one. Actually, hold on a second. Let me just see for a second here how this is. So that's a one. So we're right, basically right here. There's actually a two. Oh yeah, that's when we actually. Okay, so let me just let me just place some of the roof here. So this is going to drag all the way down, like that. I think up to right about. It's one past here. And then there's two slabs. But then if I place two slabs, hang on a second. Something is not right unless. Oh, I know why. This is actually two blocks short. Yes, that's why. And then this is one block short. And then you have your two slabs like that. There you go. So yeah, so I replaced one like this. So delete that one here. And then this is going to go all the way down. And then you have one extended here. And then you're going to have your two slabs like that. And then you're just going to close it off like this with your with your blocks. There we go. So that that's good. That's that's correct. And then you can literally just fill in your slabs going over top like that. So if we go inside for just for a second, I'll just show you the kind of shape it creates. So it kind of creates this shape right here. So now you're going to place your carpet over these little windows here. You're going to just place I just placed uh, three carpets over it. So that's what the plane should look like so far. So now all we need left is the tail. And there's a couple little details. So if you wanted to place a little uh, a stair, you're going to leave. Let me just count how much it is. But we're going to place this little kind of antenna thing. You know, just, just to finish this part up here. So you're going to leave one, and it's going to be right here. And you can also place one probably on the bottom too. You can place one like... Like you're gonna leave a two block gap, and you can place one right here. That's if you want to. So, 
You could you could do that if you want to. I'm not going to do that because I did not do that on mine. But it could just be an extra little detail. But guess what? All we need left is just the tail of the plane to do. And then we'll be finished the plane. Okay, so for the tail of the plane, you're going to come to the back and you're going to add eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you are going to go four, you're going to add four more. One, two, three, and four. And then you're just going to make it until it's a step pattern like this. And then you should have, should have about one, two, three, four blocks on the top. So if we come here and count this, one, two, three, four. And then all you're going to do is you are going to place your stairs going down to here. Now, the last thing to place in is uh, this piece, the uh, actual ele uh, elevator to the plane. So what you're going to do is you're going to, so it's going to be on the second block and it's going to be on the upper part of it. So if we come over here, so it's on the second block here, sec well, the second where the second stair is. And it's on the upper part, but you're going to leave, let me just see, one block gap. And this is going to go all the way until it's like one block short. Yes. And then if we come over here, you're just going to have a one, and then you have a two, and then a three. Okay. So we have the one, and they're going to have a two, and then a three like that. So it kind of comes out by one a little bit. So this is actually the full size of the plane, the counting these ailerons. I mean elevators. I think in other videos I've actually called this ailerons. The ailerons are actually the parts that are here uh, that make the plane roll basically. These are the ailerons. These are the elevators of the plane. But yeah, I think I kept calling the uh, tail wings ailerons. So yeah, but now now I, I know. I know it's, it's the correct way to do it. These are the elevators. So anyways, let's continue on. So we'll just do the same thing on the other side before we continue. So second block, skip one, and then one, two, three, four. It can basically just going to have it like basically leaving one block gap on each side. And then you're going to have a two like that. And then you're going to have a three like this. And then you're just going to fill up a step pattern like that until it's two. And then you do the same thing on the other side like that. And then... Just to finish this up, you're just going to grab some trim. You're going to put some uh, trim here of the black. And I mentioned what this was in the, uh, if you've d checked out my De Havilland Twin Otter tutorial, uh, what this is, is basically it's a, d it's a thing for de-icing. So ice does not build up on the wings. So that's what that's, what that's for. It's like this rubbery uh, type thing. And uh, it's basically a way for ice to not form up on the wings, basically to freeze them so that's basically what that's for but guess what that basically finishes the aircraft so now I will show you guys the interior of the plane okay so for the interior we're gonna go inside of it now I do want to mention this is not the interior is not based off any real design it's actually my own made up uh, my own made up interior like let's say if I were to buy one uh, Jetstar like if I was live back in the 70s about what I would uh, like how I would design my interior because these things were private jets so obviously if you bought one of these you can customize your interior however you want to uh, so well I, I think I think that's how it was I know today you can with private jets but I don't know back in the 70s but anyways we're gonna go explore this so yeah keep in mind that the interior is not based off any real design of an interior for the Jetstar. You can literally make up whatever interior you want for it. So that's just a little heads up for when you uh, when we go inside, just so you know that it's my own interior. And also, I will be uh, placing a screenshot at the end of the video if you wanted to actually copy my interior layout, like exactly how I have it. If you want to copy it, you can for sure. But uh, if you want to make your own interior, that's also fine too. You can do whatever you want with it. So anyways, let's go inside. So I'll go up the stairs. So right here, I just have a little kind of luggage thing for chess. And then this is the cockpit right here. So I'm going to close this door. So I just have like two seats. Basically just a up, uh, right side up stair and an upside down stair. And then this is the, uh, I just got some heads for like a pilot and co-pilot. Some levers for the engines. Well, actually this would be the engine throttles. These are just random controls. 
and uh, there should be a compass in here but um, whenever I MC edit it into a new world it um, it erases the item frames so but there would be like compasses in there and everything so that's basically pretty much the cockpit and then you got these two little windows that you can see out now this is a style that was kind of very common with uh, early jet airliners in the 1960s and and all that stuff. The Boeing 727 also had these little window things and the early models of the 737s as well. But then eventually I think they stopped using them for whatever reason. I forget the reason why they stopped using these little windows overhead. But uh, but yeah, they, they that, that's basically what that is for. Like, well, I don't actually, I didn't tell you what it's for, but that's just like kind of a little detail of the plane. So I'm actually, I actually don't remember what they're actually for, but um, yeah, so anyways. So moving on to the cabin interior. So this is what my uh, little cabin interior looks like. So because this is like a private jet, you know, business jet or so, you got some seats and um, uh, one of them has a table. I think uh, both of them should have a table. I think I actually actually forgot to place a table. I just have carpets in here. Oh yeah, I have a uh, blue block. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Put that back. Uh, I think I actually forgot to put a table on that. So I'm just gonna add a table onto that chair yeah a table onto that so anyways moving down so we got like a little this is kind of like a little area for you know people to just kind of hang out and chill and whatever and then we got a little couch like almost like a little dining table and stuff so you know you can eat and I have uh, golden pressure plates uh, for the uh, tables because you know this would obviously be a very rich jet like for rich people so nice gold gold tabletops right here is just a lone little seat so if you just wanted to sit down you know, you got no window seat, unfortunately, but, you know, and, uh, you know, this is for in case, in case you're afraid of fl flying, you could just sit here and just not look at anything. Uh, then you got your little, I got a little bookshelf with a little flower on the top of that. These are just some little bench seats that you could just sit down and chat with your friends or whoever is on board. And another little bookcase with a flower on it, you know, just to make it look nice. This is the uh, galley of the plane so you would have like um like uh, you can even put like you know some potions on here so if i grab some potions because i'm sure there would probably be some sort of um bev like um you know probably beverages aboard and stuff you know so you can have stuff like that you know to kind of like some drinks and stuff you got a little chest this is just for where like you know food could be stored you got a little um hopper which actually should be a cauldron so this is, would be like a sink. So and then I don't know why I had that tripwire hook in there, but you could place a little sink. And I also got another another thing of uh, drinks as well. Another chest for food. Some bookshelves in case of like magazines or whatever. Back here is the washroom, and the washroom is pretty big on this plane because obviously there wouldn't be a lot of people on this thing, and you know there would be there would be. Uh, so I've made an extra large washroom. And you may notice too that um, a lot of the interior is wood paneled as well. You know, because it's a private jet. So why wouldn't it be wood paneled? You know, it gives it that really nice look to it. And uh, so yeah, that's basically my interior layout for the plane. And um, like I said, you can copy mine if you want. I'll be p posting a screenshot at the end of the video where you could just pause it and get the layout of it if you wanted to. Or if you want to do your own interiors, you can as well. But that, basic, that, that basically concludes this tutorial. Okay guys, that completes this tutorial on the Lockheed Jetstar. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And if you have any build requests, please let me know down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next one later.